Okay, so this is how uh, we're going to build a scatter plot um, and then create a line of best fit and look at the residual plot for the data. Okay, this um, example that we're going to be doing is from chapter seven notes. And this is the nutrition example in your notes. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start by hitting the plus sign and we're going to enter a table. Okay, we're going to go ahead and enter all of the values. Okay, those are our x values. Okay, um, in this table of values, we're going to let the age and months be the x values, and then the mean weight in kilograms is going to be our y values. So I'm going to go ahead and enter those in. Now that I've got all my values, I can kind of see some of them are up here, but I can't really get a very good um, look at them. Okay, I can zoom in and zoom out, but this little button down here, okay, is um, the zoom to fit button. It's a little magnifying glass. So if you click on that, it'll automatically bring those values into view. So it's nice to be able to do that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click on the next line and I'm going to enter in my equation. So I want to, want to enter in y1 tilde. Okay, that's the little squiggle button up by the number one on your keyboard. Okay, m x1 plus b. So I'm just entering oops, the slope intercept form of the equation. Okay, now once I do that, I can go ahead and I can see that um, I've got my line. Uh, it's best fitted through the data points, okay? Now, when I'm looking at this line, um, I can see down here, it's given me some numbers. Okay, I have my slope, I have my y-intercept, so I can fill those in, and I can have a line of best fit, right? It would be y equals um, 0.267133x plus 4.8803, okay? So, that's how you're going to go ahead and create your scatter plot, create your line of best fit. Okay. Now in this problem, it will also ask you to plot the residuals. So to plot the residuals, we're going to click right here on this residuals where it says here, and we're going to click plot. Okay. Now when you do that, it's not really showing anything right now. Okay. You can't really see them yet. Okay. But it has added a column to your table of values. These are all your residuals. So remember the residual is the distance. Um, that this y value is from the actual line of best fit. So it's subtracting, it's finding this difference. If the residual is negative, that means your value is under the line, okay? If it's a positive residual, that means that it's above the line. So like these residuals over here would be positive, these ones right over here would be negative, okay? So um, to see your residual plot better, what I would do is I would turn off your um, scatter plot. I would also turn off down here by clicking on the circle, your line of best fit. And then I would hit the zoom fit button, the magnifying glass again, and then it will take you to your residual plot. Now, what we're looking for in our residual plot is we're looking for it to be scattered and random, okay? And when I look at this residual plot, um, it seems to kind of have a pattern. It's increasing, it peaks, it's decreasing, looks like it might start increasing again. So this is very, very pattern-like. What I'd be looking for um, in order to tell if a linear model is appropriate is for about 50% of the points to be above the line, 50% to be below, but for it to be very random and scattered. This is not very random. So I would say for this set of data, probably a linear model is not the most appropriate model. Now, 
if you want to take your image and you want to export it, okay, um, to be able to show your work, you can click up here, you can click on share graph, okay, and you can hit export image, all right, and it will go ahead and export your image. You can decide how thick you want the lines, you can decide how big you want the squares, so forth. Um, and so you can go ahead and just hit download and it will download your image for you. Okay. Now, if I wanted to go back and I wanted to export my scatter plot, I can turn off my residual plot up here by clicking that button and I'll click the zoom fit button again. Okay. And then I can go ahead and export this image right here. Again, I can change my thickness of my lines if I would like you know, whatever your preference is, okay? And then I can go ahead and download that. Okay? All right.